Can you smell uh, what the board game is cooking? Hey guys, this is my review of Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle. And the first thing I have to say is this movie surprised me. Now a lot of people had a lot of negative feelings with this film coming around. It's been a while since the passing of Robin Williams, but it was still a hot subject because this was a pretty big movie in his career. This was a movie that was a lot darker than people remember. The movie scared the crap out of me. It still scares the crap out of me. So the idea of kind of comically making it into a video game was while some people thought a little bit disrespectful, in all honesty, a better way to upgrade it, to bring it to a new generation. And the thing that I also didn't expect, this is probably one of the best movies ever about video games. Fucking hands down, it is one of the best movies about video games. There are so many tropes of video game lore and just ideals that are in video games that are crossed over to this movie. NPCs, repeating words, strength, weaknesses, lives. I thought it was actually really funny and very truthful to what video games are. There's been some movies in the past that have tried to talk about video games, but they've never gotten it right. They've either over embellished bullshit, they've either taken uh, aspects that are not possible in video games, are so ridiculous that it couldn't work in a video game. So I respect this movie for being a respectful video game in terms of its logic. The second part that I really want to talk about is how good Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jack Black are in this movie. The film is about four kids who get sucked into a video game and they're working as their stereotypes of high school kids as their characters. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is played by this skinny little kid who's afraid of everything. So the fact that seeing this giant beefed up dude screaming at squirrels and being the first one to run away and and having to work against his stereotype was awesome. Same with Jack Black. Jack Black is this extremely self selfish, very into herself teen who is now in the body of a middle-aged man. And actually, Jack Black probably has the best character development of the movie because the girl in her, like the girl who's playing Jack Black, takes, uh, actually develops a, a form of selflessness, she actually realizes what's important in life, and she kind of gets out of the whole teenage drama bullshit. Karen Gillian's pretty cool too, she does make jokes about what she's wearing, like a lot of people when they saw set photos are wondering why was she wearing that outfit. And yeah, they explain it. It's a video game. She has some interesting development and dialogue. Really, the fact that the girl who's playing Karen Gillian, um, the high school kid, they, her and the nerd who's playing the Rocks character both like each other and seeing high school teenagers act as adults in a relationship where they're trying to figure out how to be in a relationship was actually probably some of the funniest part. There's one part that made me balls out laugh. I was laughing so hard at one point. I won't say what it is, but it's something to do with their relationship and it's absolutely hysterical. The one person I would say who doesn't play against their character really at all is Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is Kevin Hart, really. Sure, he's this big football guy who has to play little Kevin Hart, but they'd make jokes about the fact that he's short. A lot. And I don't know, like, it, he had some funny parts. He had some funny jokes in the movie, but I don't know, he wasn't that... Eh. Nick Jonas is actually surprisingly not bad. I thought he was... He's... Uh, he's kind of the Robin Williams of this movie, and you'll understand why when you meet him. Otherwise, he was actually better than I thought it would be. As for the film itself, the film is very generic in terms of its action sequences. Not a lot of them really stand out. The CG is kind of like... Eh, but really, it's the character development and the character interactions that are going to make you enjoy this movie. It is the best part, is just how everyone plays everyone. The story is very simplistic, the action scenes are very forgettable in my opinion, but just how everyone interacts with each other, the humor throughout the movie is pretty good, and the development of each character, aside from kind of Kevin Hart, everyone has a good development in this movie. Oh, the, the villain of this movie is boring as shit. I'll just let you know. He, he, he's so un-fucking-dimensional. But in the end, Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle is a surprising 
experience. It is a funny time. It's a fun time. It's kind of a brainless time, but you'll really enjoy the interactions with the characters. I'm not saying it's exceptional, but I'll say that I would probably watch it again on DVD, maybe. So in the end, I'm going to give Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle a 4 out of 7. It's a average good time. The characters are really good. The film keeps you entertained. The characters are good. The humor is good. And you won't regret seeing it. I guess that's the idea that you should say. I Again, this movie really surprised me. And I think it, the fact that it was so loyal to being a video game really surprised me. In the end, guys, that's all for me. If you guys like this video, leave a like if you want. Maybe subscribe. Anyways, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.